Hi, I'm Robert Chen. Uh, I'd like to talk about the latest movie, uh, the, uh, Summer Blockbuster, which is called The Crazy Rich Asians. So according to the story, uh, the, the lead actor uh, actually gets what he wants, he gets the lady. But in real life, uh, Hollywood is not, doesn't happen uh, like what Hollywood says. Uh, I have a story, uh, one of the first families I met was the Kwok family who owns the San Hong Kei, which is the second biggest uh, property group in the world. Uh, in fact, their property portfolio is even bigger than Lee Ka Shing's uh, property portfolio. So the first uh, people I met uh, was in actually a speed yacht in, in Hong Kong, Victoria Harbour, and uh, I met uh, Robert Kwok, who is the chairman then, San Hong Kei, and of course Wendy Kwok is a good friend of mine. So uh, according to the story, uh, Walter Kwok was in love with, uh, with a teenage uh, a love. Uh, this actually, you can look at Wikipedia and see all that story. Uh, but let me highlight something: is that uh, he wanted to marry Walter, wanted to marry the love of his life at that time, but it didn't happen. The parents, you know, uh, rejected her, uh, rejected this la this lady. So he ended up marrying Wendy, and they had a few children. So uh, something happened that changed the course of his career. Uh, uh, Walter Kwok was kidnapped by a broken tooth and, and he was traumatized uh, for one week, broken tooth, stripped him naked and you know and, and when he when he was released after one billion ransom, uh, he was never the same. He would stare at his you know his big aquarium on the third floor in in Repulse Bay and, and he would just be blank. So he never got treatment or any psychotherapy. So he ended up uh, being, being depressed obviously and the other two brothers wanted to, to ask him to resign because he's no longer functioning as, a, as the chairman. But he was not okay, he wanted to keep his position. So it became such a big problem that is not functioning so well, so uh, that they want to get rid of him. So what happened was uh, he didn't get any treatment, any mental health, uh, psych psychiatry or psychotherapy, and he ended up going back to his first love, his first love, uh, and he became a mistress. So when he came, the time when the founder, the actual founder of Sun Ke, the father of Rob, uh, Walter Koch, uh died, the matriarch. Uh, was in charge of the estate. So what is at stake was inheritance of $380 billion of inheritance split among the three brothers. And, and uh, Walter is the eldest son. So it turns out that the matriarch said, look, I'm going to give you because you have a mistress. You do not know if your mistress will take away all the money. So we're going to give only to your children and skip you. So, but it was became a big court case, it's all in the news, even uh, so much so that it becomes such a big issue, 380 billion at stake. So the story is this, that uh, you know, he, he didn't get what he wanted, but eventually he got what he wanted, he went back to his first love. So uh, I have heard so many stories of uh, crazy rich uh, Asians in Hong Kong, in Malaysia, in Singapore. You know, the, the life is not that simple. It's not like Hollywood. And for me, the whole, uh, I mean, I love the story, it was very entertaining, but really I'm not, uh, I'm not really attracted to the seductive lifestyle of the rich and famous. Rather, I think they live very empty lives. And uh, for me, my message is this, don't be seduced by all this, you know, Ferrari or McLaren in the movie. I think if you live a very attractive life, a fulfilling life, a life full of meaning, you'll be much better off than being attracted and seduced by uh, a lifestyle that you can't sustain. And it's no meaning, you know, you can have so much riches, but you have no meaning and no fulfillment in life. So that's just my take about the crazy Asian, uh, crazy rich Asians that uh, you know the message is you know you you go for what you love you marry for love not for money 
and also uh, don't be seduced by all this all this name fame and and, and, and and being famous and having richness but actually what's more important do you live a fulfilling meaningful life that's Robert Jack.